everyone in this video we are going to study the voltage divider biasing configuration of the n channel junction field effect transistor so you can see the voltage divider biasing configuration on your screen again for dc analysis this c1 is going to be my open circuit also this c2 is going to be my open circuit and this cs is also going to be my open circuit so these uh, coupling capacitors are to be replaced by open circuit so i'm going to replace this by open circuit this by open circuit and this by open circuit so this part is going to be removed from here also the vdd is connected to board r1 and to this rd so i can separately uh, uh, separately connect rd to these two devices when i simplify i am going to have a figure like this as you can have a look now the C1, C2 and CS has been removed and VDD has been separately connected to R1 and RD. Now let us suppose that the current flowing here is the I1 and the current flowing here is the I2. The current following in the R2 branch is the I2 and the current following in the flowing in the R1 branch is the I1. Now if I apply KCL over here we have I1 is equal to I2 plus ig but if you remember in case of the field effect transistor ig is equal to the 0 ampere that is why this ig is equal to the 0 ampere and that is why we have i1 is equal to i2 so same current flows in these two branches and i can label it as i so let's suppose i1 is equal to i and i2 is equal to i so the same current i is following flowing in these two branches which is r1 and r2 and to find this current flowing through these branches this is going to be given by i and we can find by ohm's law and now the equivalent resistance is my r1 plus r2 equivalent resistance of this branch is going to be r1 plus r2 and again using ohm's law i is equal to v by r so v here is my voltage is the vdd so i have vdd divided by r equivalent and my R equivalent is, uh, is R1 plus R2. So the current flowing in this branch is VDD divided by R1 plus R2. So this is the current flowing in this branch. Now to find the voltage drop across R2 which is labeled as VG and we can label VG here. The voltage across R2 is going to be the same I into R2 and this is going to be vg is equal to vdd r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so the voltage dropped at vg at this point is going to be vdd into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 as vg is equal to i r2 and the same current i is flowing in this branch so this was my vg current and this is my equation number one other thing is that I can apply uh, KVL over here as well. So let me remember this equation and again write it down that I have VG is equal to VDD R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So this was my equation number one. And now let me apply KVL to this branch and, and find the equation. Now this VG is my rise. So I am going to label it as minus and again this vgs is again my drop because it is going from positive to negative and this is also my drop so this is going to be plus vgs and plus vrs is equal to zero so this is so i have applied the kvl to this branch now vrs we know that vrs is equal to isrs and is is equal to id so we can write idrs because IS is equal to ID in case of FET as IG is equal approximately, approximately equal to 0 ampere. So that is why I can write VRS as IDRS. So let me say that minus VGS plus VGS minus VG plus VGS plus IDRS is equal to 0. Now what I am going to do is that I am going to write this in terms of VGS. So VGS is going to be equal to VG minus IDRS. 
so this is my equation number two this was my equation number one and this is my equation number two and this is very important equation in case of the voltage divider biasing because this is going to be my network equation again we are going to plot two graphs one is the device characteristics that is the transfer characteristics and second is this this network plot so i need to plot this equation again if you have a look now because we have a constant term over here this is not going to pass to the origin but this is again the equation of straight line so again i only need two points to make this graph two points are needed to make this graph and the points that i am going to select is the number one point is that when id is equal to zero when id is zero we have we, when we put id is equal to zero in just in this equation we get vgs is equal to vg so when id is equal to zero vgs is equal to vg so my point number one is vg and with id zero and for the second point i am going to get vg i am going to put vgs is equal to zero over here when I put VGS is equal to 0 over here, we get ID is equal to VG by RS. So this is going to be my second point. Second point is going to be 0 and VG by RS. So with the help of these two points, I can plot the network curve. So, so here it is. If you can have a look, we have this line plotted which is this equation which was the network equation VGS is equal to VG minus ID RS. And we have two points. First point was when ID was equal to zero. We have VGS is equal to VG. And this is our that point when VGS is equal to VG and ID is equal to zero. And our second point was when VGS is equal to zero. If you can have a look, we have VGS is equal to zero over here. And in this case, ID was equal to VG divided by RS. So this is a second point. So we draw a start line joining these two points, and then we extend this. And then this is now this was our network curve and again we are going to again plot the transfer characteristic curve our device characteristic curve and when we plot both the network curve and the transfer characteristic curve they will again intersect at the common point and this common point is called quotient point or q point or operating point and in this quotient point we have also the idq and the vgsq so that is how we obtain the common point by uh, by finding the intersection of both the curves and the output equations are going to be the same as that of the self bias configuration and that is vds is equal to vdd minus id rs plus rd so this is equation number three for example and then we have the vd which is vdd minus id rd and this is equation 4 because vd is equal to vds plus vs so that is why that is going to come out to be vdd minus rd rd similarly the vs as mentioned earlier is equal to id rs let me name it as equation 5 and finally ir1 is equal to ir2 is equal to vdd divided by r1 plus r2 which is the equivalent resistance R1 plus R2. Thank you.